Okay, so this is my notion. I mostly wanted to like do a little bit of an introduction, how I use it, how I find it useful. Me not being a very aesthetical person. This is how my usual agendas looks like, all right? No, no many uh, flip flu, flu flu flu, no many blue 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 blue. I just use some very small things to make it look decent. First, I'll show you how how you can use Notion and the main things about it, and then I'll show you how I make it a little bit prettier, uh, and that's it. So this is my central hub. This is the one that I open as a as a main page, my own main page that I made by myself entirely. I add this up just like, like the weather because most of the time I don't go outside and look outside my window so I don't know how sweat. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just like sometimes I, I live in my house. My house has very thick walls. I don't know the weather outside. It's always good. It's always good to know the weather outside. Um, I have my agenda with the things I have to do. Nothing to do today. Nice. Um, I have a little space here that I made with like quick access and like my things to remember. I did clean my PC. I did clean my PC. Yeah, yeah, Jafar, I've made it. But I still haven't called the doctor about my elbow and I don't know if I will ever do. And then I have my main repository right here. In general, to let you understand how Notion works, I think that the best way to explain it is like, it's a notepad in blocks. So like every single line is a little block. So first line, this could be either text, so you just type whatever, or you have different ways, different things that you can make it as. It can be text, it could be a to-do list, I'll, I'll tell you about the page later. It could be a heading, could like a different kind, it could be a table, like this is all like, like a word, all right? This is no more different than a word. How you make Notion so cool is that the fact that you can add pages. Pages are like the best thing, like because you see, I, I just clicked on page and I just opened something else and you'll be like, wait, what did you, did you just create a new page and that's it? Actually, when you go here to the central hub where I was, you have that page right here. So you can make this page into whatever you want. It could be another homepage. It could be uh, where you write, oh, dear diary, or you can write whatever you want. Or you can also, and that is the second cool thing about the about Notion that makes me, oh, you know, that, that, that a scientist in me makes me, oh, it's the fact that you can put together notes and databases. You can make a database, it can be in a line, so you just have it in, in this page that you see here, or you can create another page with the, with the database in it. It's just a matter of how you prefer. Um, in this case, like for example, in line, and you made this, that it might look like a, just a normal page, like a normal table to you, but like for example, this can be uh, our to-do list. I can make our to-do list here. And we can put uh, walk the dog. The dog. Object. Walk the dog. Uh, buy groceries. You could also have bigger things like um, Project X. Okay, that's my project. Let's not talk about what Project X is, all right? And you will be, oh, that's a basic list. Thank you. But how you make it so powerful are all the properties that you have in the database. You can add a property and it can be a text. So like a comment. It can be a number select, or in this case, they just they recently added this one and it's the coolest thing ever. I'm so happy that they added it. It's property. So you can put it as not started, in progress, and done. You know, I was telling you that everything in Notion is a block. Even this little walk the dog is a block. Even buy groceries is a block. Even Project X is a block. So I can open this block and I have its own little page just for this one. I have my little page for Project X. So in here, I can also put another database in here. You can use and put little statuses. So like find name, find uh, date, um, whatever. Deploy. Here, you can put another status, another one. And you are here defining your own project. And this is like the basic knowledge on Notion, like super basic, the basic things that you can do. And it's honestly how 100% of the time I use it. But there are so many things that you can do more that it's crazy. Are you able to see my to-do list on this tool? Yes, you, if you share with me, if you share it, you can share it with anyone you want. You can, I'm not sharing this one, but okay, I'm sharing this for a second. But here you can see like you can allow the editing, you can allow comments, you can do all of these things. You copy and you just send it to the person that you wanted to send it to. You can make websites out of this. We can make, let's do study time. I'm doing my, my website, study time. 
I can add a cover. Uh, welcome to my website. Social medias. Uh, I like it to be, I'd rather have it like more as a heading too. Let's put this one. Okay, so I could also put like an image. Let's add an image. Add an emoji actually. Then I can do share and this becomes a website. So if I go here, if I go to the one that I sent you, this is my website. You just made a website and extremely easy. It is for free. It is for free when you're using the basic things, all right, which like I never pass them. Like just in this case, it just told me like, yeah, bro, you cannot add a 4K pictures. You, who do you think you are? You know, like, of course there are limitations. Otherwise they will not be making any money. And we all know about that, right? We, we need all, we all need to survive. Also, the Notion team needs to survive. They have to pay food for their pets. That seems legit. So, of course, there. this is like the free... I'm still using the free version, by the way. As much as I'm using it, I'm still in the free version. Like, if it's still personal, it's free. You have all of these spaces, all of these things. You have blocks and all of that. Plus, you have student education plan. I think that it's free for student educators. It's for free for all the students. Another thing that I wanted to show to you which I think it's also extremely cool. Some of us are like a pain, all right? We don't, we don't, this is too much. This is already too much, all right? This is already too much of a pain. If you want, there is templates. There's a lot of templates. Not only the ones made by Notion, but also by other people. If we create a new page and we go to templates, look at all the templates that you have here. Look at them. Design, we have it. We have a user research database. We have a database with things. Uh, you are a student. Look at that. Great calculator. There is because you can also use formulas in the database. You can also use formulas there. So like you can just say, oh, this grade is this and this and that. And then you see, you. they also explain to you like the formulas, how they work. And what I find it also very cool, if you're taking class notes, notes in class, this is a huge, amazing hub to have all of them. First of all, because you can share the link, so you can also maybe monetize on your note in your notes if you take them decently. But also because as you saw, they also have this, which is like a coding line that you can select the different type of language that you're using in here and it adapt to it. So if you're coding, if you're doing taking a class of coding or anything like that, you can just put it here. Exactly, Gabriel. You're not that organized, and I understand you. I'm not that organized either when I have like if I have to think about making it pretty I, I get so lost that's why you can just make a database like a way to make it easy all right so you don't have many pages you don't have to make it pretty you just call you don't even give it a name you don't um, hide database title and you put everything instead of having pieces of paper flying around whatever you would write on a piece of paper you would just write it here if you are one of those people that thinks like, oh, it's, I cannot keep it organized. I cannot be butter. I cannot, that's a pain. Just put everything in a database. And how are you gonna like check it out just because of tags? So here you put like journal. This is going, here I know that if I open here, it's a diary uh, 28th of August. 2021 here i know that if i open this page i will find things that i wrote on my diary in 2021 uh clean the house and i'll just add the tag to do so then you just add the whatever tags whatever you think it is related to and then you just filter it you just put oh i just want to see the journal stuff and you just have them there as i use it too it's like my brain dump all the time this is my brain dump let's let's enter into the prettiness uh, section of this uh, talk all right let's talk about how to make it pretty opening the door entering <clears throat> i suck at making pe things pretty i don't know how to draw i suck with like colors matching and stuff for example the cover very simple thing you can take either like one of the ones that they selected honestly i didn't feel inspired by any of these or you can just put the link of whatever you want a gif or a picture that you find on uh, google just copy the link to the picture and just splash it there or you can go on Unsplash, which is like a library for like pictures without copyright. You just pick whatever you want, all right? Or you can upload it from your computer. Then, how I personally like it, if you go here, you can change the text uh, thing. It can be default. Serif looks a little bit too like uh, me, 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 
me to me. This one looks more like, um, you know, edgy uh, to a certain point. So I always go for mono full width. So it means like it will make it big or like otherwise it stays in a column, but I like it like this, small text or big text, whatever. And then to make this one, I use uh, super.so. I, I like things to be very minimal. So I use this website where you can find all of these things. You just click on it. You copied it. You see, you just clicked. By clicking, you already link, copied the link and you just put it here, like custom, and you put the link there. Easy. About this ones, Indify has like uh, some widgets that you can use to implement in here. Okay, for all the happiness of main, there's also the dark mode. I, I believe that this is a really, really cool um, software that you can use to organize your stuff. This is like, I would say the Notion is the entry level of the old big, you know that when you will start working, most of the big companies are using very big softwares that put together like uh, like GitHub things that you have to do and all of that. And Notion is the very entry level one. Like it's super easy, super understandable. It can be either used with the teams, but also for yourself only. And I, I generally like, I, I used a lot of them. Like I was obsessed with like ClickUp and all of them. But Notion is always the one that I go back to because of how easy it is and how understandable it is for everyone. And now you can actually use it for many things. So this was my notion and maybe if you want one day I can also, we can also make like a template, like a community template with things on it. And if you're watching this from YouTube, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. If you want to like it and share it with Notion, please tell them to add the weekly view to it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.